the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 318, Acts 6-9 Paul's life-changing moment Through the steps of the early church who was scattered to avoid persecution, the gospel continued to spread far and wide. First point, in order to solve the internal conflict that occurred in the Jerusalem church, the apostles appointed seven people to look over internal affairs. Despite how the results of the third Sanhedrin assembly trial was the flogging of the apostles, the Jerusalem church expanded all the more as the days went by. Although the threats from the Sanhedrin assembly was tolerable, what was intolerable was the internal conflict that arose within the church. Despite how the apostles worked hard for peace, they needed more assistance and help. The Hellenistic Jews among them complained against the Hebraic Jews because their widows were being overlooked in the daily distribution of food. Therefore, the apostles took this to heart and tried their best to solve this. This divide caused some quarrels within the community, as they started to certainly acknowledge their differences. The apostles discussed what could be done about this and came up with a solution. They decided to appoint seven leaders among the people, who are known to be full of spirit and wisdom, and were also acknowledged by the community. We later learned that these seven workers served the community perfectly and that they also worked relentlessly to spread Jesus' word. Among the seven were Stephen and Philip. The seven workers were collaboratively selected by the church. The apostles were able to concentrate on praying and spreading the gospel and the appointed seven workers were able to serve the church community. This brought about even people from the Jerusalem temple to confess that Jesus was Christ. Second point, the Sanhedrin assembly opened a forced trial in order to arrest Stephen. During the first Sanhedrin assembly trial, the trial was passed to Pontius Pilate who eventually sentenced Jesus to death. During the second trial, the apostles were threatened to stop proclaiming the word of Jesus. During the third trial, the disciples were flogged. Now, the Sanhedrin assembly prepared for the fourth trial. This time, they targeted Stephen, and so they found an excuse to arrest him. When the diaspora Jews were unable to win Stephen in debate, they passed him to the Sanhedrin assembly who arrested him, and thus began the fourth trial by the Sanhedrin assembly. However, this was not a righteous trial by any means. They hired people to make false accusations. The Sanhedrin assembly accused Stephen of blasphemy, as they had done to Jesus and sentenced Stephen to be stoned to death. This sentence became implemented on the spot. To their surprise, whilst being stoned, Stephen looked peaceful and angelic. Third point, Stephen declared the story of Jesus from the Old Testament to his resurrection through the tongue message to the Sanhedrin assembly. This was the order of Stephen's trial and death sentence. When the trial began, the assembly chair asked Stephen whether the contents of his arrest were true. Stephen began to speak. However, rather than defending himself, he used the time to teach the members of the Sanhedrin assembly about Jesus by referencing the Old Testament 
through the tongue method. This was because although they knew about the Old Testament, they had misunderstood it. Stephen managed to tell the full story without a single mistake. Most unfortunately, the people were unable to accept this story. Stephen started his story by tracing up to Abraham. He then explained the patriarchs and followed through to Joseph, who led Abraham's descendants into Egypt. Stephen then told the story of Moses, who was 500 years after Abraham's time, and how he led the people out of Egypt. Stephen then explained how the Israelites had to stay in the desert for 40 years because of their disobedience. He then explored how the ark moved around for 500 years and then came to settle in Jerusalem for 1,000 years. Stephen went on to explain how the Israelites worshipped idols for 500 years. Stephen started with Abraham and then through to Solomon's temple and then came to the waters of Isaiah, which he used for his main point. He declared that the whole of the Old Testament predicted Jesus and rebuked the Sanhedrin assembly for worshipping the temple itself rather than God. Stephen then came to his conclusion. Stephen declared that their disobedient ancestors killed the prophets, and the disobedient members of the Sanhedrin assembly killed Jesus. He rebuked them for killing the Messiah and for not accepting the gospel. The Sanhedrin assembly could not tolerate this. Although they knew in their hearts that they were wrong, they did not repent until the end, and sentenced Stephen to death. Stephen was accused of blasphemy. Thus, Stephen became the first martyr for Christianity. Stephen's last prayer was the prayer of Jesus whilst he was on the cross. First point, after the matter of Stephen, Philip, who was one of the seven workers, went to the Samaritan castle in order to spread the word of Jesus. After stoning Stephen to death, the Sanhedrin assembly started to relentlessly persecute Christians. Saul, who was a member among them, found it most adequate that Christians were persecuted. When the persecution became severe, some followers of Jesus ran away to Samaria and other places. But the amazing thing was that these people who ran away to Samaria was assisted by the Holy Spirit, which meant that the gospel spread throughout Samaria. Stephen's matter enabled Christianity to spread even further and became the first step towards Jesus' great commission. As the church lamented while the burning Stephen, Saul, on the other hand, was hard at work to see the Christians. However, no one could stop the gospel from spreading. One example was how Philip spread the gospel in Samaria. Right on, Philip listened to the Lord's angel and went to the desert in order to further spread the gospel. Indeed, he had started to spread the gospel to the Andes of the earth. Philip's missionary continued their own. Fifth point, Jesus waited for Stephen on the right side of God and then waited for Saul when he was on his way to Damascus. Saul was on his way to Damascus in order to officially persecute Christians. He received an official decree from the high priest in order to go after Christian leaders such as Stephen. The Sanhedrin assembly at the time controlled 460 to 480 synagogues in Jerusalem alone. The synagogues were used by the Jews to practice their religion. Saul was on his way to Damascus in order to find the Christian leaders. This was where he met Jesus, his Damascus moment. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the 
Tom Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zo does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation. One story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.